today we're going to make some shortbread from my cookbook. If you didn't see my last video, go and check it out. So you'll need some caster sugar and also some butter. Then, oh, some rice flour. Also, some plain white flour. You'll need a sieve, some scales, and a mixing bowl, and also a pan. Step one, turn your oven on to 150 degrees Celsius. Grease the inside of your tin with butter or use grease proof paper like we did. We drew around the tin to make a circle and then we cut it out. Help a grown up cut it out for you. You need to wash your hands. I already washed my hands at the start. Now you need to wear your flour and your rice flour. You need 150 grams of plain flour. If it's not correct, just take out a little spoon. To zero and add 25 grams of rice flour. Perfect. Put the flowers into a large bowl on a sieve. Next we need to add a hundred grams of butter. This is so painful, can you do it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! like we have. Put them in a bowl and mix them with a blunt knife. Step four, rub the butter into the flour with your fingers. Carry on 
rubbing until they look like breadcrumbs. Wash your hands after because they might be a bit floury. My hands are wet. Oh, thank you. Now we need 50 grams of cast sugar. with a wooden spoon and add in the castle sugar. Hold the bowl with one hand and squeeze the mixture into a bowl. The heat from your hand sticks the mixture together. Press the mixture into your tin, then smooth it out. Press the mix, and then smooth it out with the top of your. As you can see, you have to make it very flat. Use the end of your fork to make patterns in the shortbread. mixture into eight equal pieces. Get a grown up to help you. Step nine, bake it for 30 minutes until it becomes golden. set the timer to 30 minutes. And now just wait. It's ready! the tin for five minutes. I'm going to set the timer. One, two, three, four, five. Cut the lines again and then put it onto a wire wrap. It smells delicious. That's how you make shortbread. Bye.